Well, thank you, Blake. Uh, that was a wonderful introduction, and I'm just so privileged to serve with a great team. And we certainly have a great team at MEC and across our state. I've talked numerous times about how economic development is a team sport, and certainly in Mississippi, we understand team sports, and we thrive and succeed in a tremendous ways in team sports. I want you to just take a moment, though, and look around at this beautiful day we have, and look around this audience. And just, you know, I know you're having a delicious lunch, but look around this audience and just see the best and brightest, the students, the parents, the leaders, the people that make things happen in our great state. Give yourself a round of applause for being here because you really, we really appreciate it. It's doing a great job. Thank you so much. Now, MEC does some wonderful meetings. And this is the annual meetings, one of our pinnacle meetings. We bring people together. That's part of what a team does. And Blake Wilson and his staff do meetings no, like nobody else. And I, I really, I can't tell you how many people were volunteering with them, including some of my folks from Atmos Energy, late last night and even today, making sure everything's ready to go for us. Great service we've had today. Let's give Blake Wilson and the Emmy staff a round of applause. It's my opportunity to reflect a little bit over this past year. And over the past year, we've had a wonderful privilege to work with members across the state. It's been a truly amazing experience, and I really have looked forward to what we're going to do together, what we're going to continue to do under Robin's leadership and under all of us working together to continue to transform Mississippi to even a better place to work and live. As Blake said, I have two grown sons. They're grown and beginning their own journey in life, and it's great to see an organization like this that helps pave the way, helps bring people together, and help provide them for opportunities. And they're at that very threshold of those opportunities today, and I'm excited for what the future holds for them and for your kids and grandkids. And some of the things that we do, we talked about early this year, we, Mississippi, my theme was building bridges to tomorrow. That's a good engineering term. We like, we like to build stuff. But a lot of the bridges we build are building bridges with relationships and bringing together and thinking about education. We've brought over 2,300 leaders together this past year at 22 tour stops across the state in our pace setter tour. We've more than doubled our participation in the MEC legislative scramblers. We used, the, used technology for the first time ever to live broadcast that so you could actually be part of those scramblers without ever leaving your desk. MEC's Hobnob event and Capital Day event had record attendance. As a result, we are truly removing the needle. Additionally, just an example of some of the things we're doing, we're improving Mississippi's workforce. In March, Governor Phil Bryant signed Mississippi Works Fund Act, created a dedicated source of funding for workforce training. Working together with Lieutenant Governor Tay Reeves, Speaker of the House Philip Gunn, there's now greater focus on training for new jobs. We have money in the pocket, in the bank, ready to deliver training when the opportunity presents itself. We don't have to say, well, we can do that. Yes, we can do that. We have the means to do that as well. It really makes a difference when you're out there recruiting. It's a game changer. Additionally, lifelong learning is vital. Equally important, it's got, you've got to have that strong educational foundation. And I applaud the legislative leaders this year for signing a law requiring all local superintendents of education to be appointed beginning in 2019. This has been, thank you, this has been a long-standing position of MEC since the 1970s, and our students deserve the very best leadership. So thank you for getting that done. Now the work on Mississippi, the Blueprint Mississippi Transportation Infrastructure Task Force got off to a good start, chaired by Joe Sanderson, Jr. of Sanderson Farms. They laid the groundwork for finding a meaningful solution and preserving our transportation system. And MEC will continue that work as we work together to find those solutions that need to come in the future. I want to take this opportunity to thank the MEC Board of Directors and the Board of Governors, the boards of our Public Education Forum, our MB Swayze Foundation, and MEC members across the state 
We have 11,000 members of our 1,100 member companies across the state bringing you all together. Thank you for allowing me to serve this way. I particularly want to thank my Atmos Energy team that took care of things and made the opportunity for me to serve in this capacity. And also for my lovely wife, Jill, and my family for putting up with me as I did this as well. Thank you very much. Let's give them a round of applause as well. Again, thank you for this honor. Now, we're still continuing. We want to continue moving forward, and we have our new chair, Robin Robinson, and she will do a fantastic job. You had a great um, introduction from Blake Wilson, but I will just tell you that Robin is a fantastic volunteer. She's a fantastic leader. She's the right lady at the right time, and she's going to do a super job for us. So without any further ado, let me bring Robin Robinson up to the stage. Thank you very much. Well, hello everyone, and David, please don't go anywhere. We have a special treat for you. The theme for David's year was Building Bridges for Tomorrow. And I don't know about all of you, but David has done an outstanding job as the leader of the Mississippi Economic Council. Would you all join me in applauding David on a job well done? Thank you, David. And just so you won't forget about the year you spent as chair of MEC, the uh, board of directors has this lovely resolution that tells all of your great successes that you can place on your wall, look at it every day, and go, woohoo, what a great year I had. Congratulations, David. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Okay. Can you hold it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I think my pain pills kicked in. Good. All right. Okay. You got a nice gift from Jill. Yeah. And Jill? Thank you for your service to MEC. We appreciate all of your contributions and your hard work and good work too as David helped build bridges to tomorrow. We have a special gift for you. We hope that you enjoy it. And as you look at the gift, you can be, remembered, be reminded of what a great year we had at MEC. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, party pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Party pop. 